Hey guys, long time no see. Today I am finally going to bring you a quick tour of the inside of the Bohemian Safari Cool Bus. I do have guests checking in here soon, so I'm gonna make it really quick, but um, if you guys have any questions or want a longer video and more detail, please let me know and I will do that sometime in the near future, but let's get started. Okay, so this is a Ford E350 shuttle bus. And this door was off of an old mobile home door that I found at the RV park that somebody was throwing away. And uh, Donnie helped me with this and we framed in uh, where the old bus doors were and put that in there, which it's worked out great. And I just added this house door knob on there and now it locks. And then I put the key to the lock right in here. So when guests come, they can just get the key out and head right in. So coming in, I took some contact paper and I put down here on the steps and then I added, I cut up a, an outdoor mat like this and I uh, fit it to size in here. Um, over here I have, well I used to have two lights, I don't know what happened to that one, but they are controlled by this little light right here. You just do it on and off and then it'll um, have little lights for when you're stepping up, you can see. Whew, I'm out of breath. I'm running around like a crazy woman. Um, so coming inside, I turned all this part up here into a shelf and um, added the TV. Um, we cut a hole for the AC unit and all the ceiling here is that same beadboard that I used in the tiny house. Um, up front here, I obviously I painted it put some plants over here. This one's real. This one, all these right here that are going down, I hot glued on and they're just faux leaves and flowers and vines that I got. Um, let's see, let me turn you around this way. Back here, if you guys have been watching my full build, which I'll leave the link in the description if you want to watch it. Um, this is the finished couch. Uh, underneath it has a bunch of storage as well. You just lift up the top on each one. Um, I built this shelf up here. Uh, there is like an LED light strip up there and then just a couple other uh, odds and ends. Um, this is the gentleman who is coming, Brandon. And my windows open. This is one thing I really loved about the shuttle buses is that they open um, like this and it gets a lot uh, better breeze in here. That back window opens and then this one over here opens as well. Um, and the top ones there slide open too. Um, so then back here is where I have the uh, solar, which I have my the Blue Eddy 200 ACP or something like that. It's 2000 watts and that runs the 12 volt fan. It runs the TV. It runs the pump for the sink. It runs the 12 volt fridge and anything else you want to plug into the, the, um, the outlet over here, which this is the switch for the 12 volt pump. You just turn that on and voila. For my freshwater tank, I just have this seven and a half gallon freshwater tank that I put down there. Eventually I'm going to get a bigger one, but for right now it's serving its purpose. Added this little side table here, which that folds up and goes, you have to pull it out, it's telescoping and it connects right into there and holds up like that, which is cute. Back here, I have the queen size bed. Um, it's got an eight inch memory foam mattress on it, super comfortable. And then, this is my favorite part. You get to lay here. It's your favorite spot. And enjoy the view no matter where you go. And those curtains open. But um, this, I used reed fencing to cover the top. And then these are just uh, pallet, not pallet, but um, I forget what they're called. Anyways, with the grooves and you snap them together and you put it on a wall, blah, blah, blah. But that's what I did the trim around the window with as well. These are the towels for the outdoor shower that I have for guests because the one here isn't working yet. And I try to leave a little gift for everybody as well when they come, just to make it a little bit more personalized and special. Right here, we have just a shelf with 
some mugs and other little odds and ends for the kitchen. And this sink, gosh, I've had this for years and years and years. I've been holding on to that before I even bought the bus. And I originally, I think, was going to put it in the floating tiny house, but I ended up doing something different with that and um, ended up using it in here, which is great because it's a super deep, deep, super deep sink and holds a lot of dishes and stuff like that so you can just throw everything. Plus, I use this when I'm moving to throw everything in so it doesn't all fall down when I'm driving. Um, my lights up here are just little magnets and they got rechargeable batteries in it and you just charge it by a USB which those work out really well and it comes with a remote and you just turn them on bing bing and turn them off here i have a little coffee percolator uh one burner propane stove another little wicker shelf here i found that at a thrift store um i hung up this cute little curtain here so you can hide away back there. I'm not done with this yet, but um, this is an old bodega 12 volt fridge that I have. They are going to be sending me another one here real soon. So I'm going to be doing a review about that and I'm going to fit it in there and then I'm going to custom build like shelves around it, depending on which one I get. There's two different styles. So we'll see about that. This is a shower insert that I got from Habitat for Humanity. Oh God, I don't even know. Two years ago, I've grabbed stuff just the beginning of the thought of making a bus and I was grabbing stuff as I seen it. Eventually I want to plumb this and um, add a bigger freshwater tank underneath the bus that will be hooked up to the sink and to the shower so you can shower but right now that's not like that so I'm just using it as the house for the dry camp toilet which it just takes bags but it's super cute. Uh, this is all moss up here that I used as my trim. And this is the same wood planks that I use for the trim all over here, too. And, yeah, I think that's about it for right now. Um, let me show you quickly out here. This beautiful view. We got the fire pit here. Over there is the outdoor projector that um, I rent to people as well. So they can watch outdoor movies if they choose to. Um, we also have the kayaks that they can rent. Um, and this, let me show you this really quick. Oh, let me show you this too from the outside. I don't know if I did that, but anyways, the mural me and my mom painted on the bus. And this is just exterior house paint. And when I was posting it in the groups and everything, people were like, you can't do that. You can't put house paint on a bus and blah, 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 blah. Well, it's been probably a year now since I've done this. And this stuff has been rock solid. It is not chipped, nothing. It has been great. So don't listen to what other people say. They just don't know about, you know, all those extra cheap ways you can do things. But um, this is the shower. So I just got a wood pallet down there and then that is the five gallon bucket that is filled with it and it comes with a 12 volt uh, little push button. You just push that and then the water comes out and you push the little button and you can take a shower. And over here I got some body wash, conditioner, shampoo for people and it's super cool. It's like you can be in the elements but still have privacy. <laughs> Fun stuff. Oh, I forgot to show you my most favoritist part about it. The swing. Crazy bird's back. Sorry, I should have put this up before I started recording, but. Yes. Okay, bye. Oh, also, and for those of you who are wondering how I'm doing this again out here, where the micro tiny house was, and um, if you all have been following me for a while, you remember all the drama I had with the city and that one I won't even want to call her a lady thing um, ratted me out for whatever reason because she is a bitter miserable besotch um, who I didn't even know but anyways I'm not getting away with it um, you're allowed to camp on your property for a certain amount of days and I set this up and I take it down every time there is a new guest and bring it and haul it all out of here. Same with the tents. Um, we were doing glamping tents as well. 
Um, so yeah, I, I don't. I just bring it out, set it up. When they leave, take it down and bring it back all over again. So I'm gonna leave you guys at that. And um, I know I haven't been on here in probably like six months. I've posted a couple little shorts videos here and there, but um, I just haven't felt like filming anything to be honest. I've been really focusing on my Airbnbs and taking care of that side of business things. And I just, you know, I haven't really felt like there was anything that you guys would want to see that I've been doing. Um, but hopefully I haven't really done anything as far as traveling in the bus yet. Like I had planned and hoped for because the Airbnbs have been doing uh, fairly well. Um, so I kind of have to get that end of things situated before I can even find time to take off to go in the bus, but I'm working on that now. So hopefully I will have some adventure videos sometime here in the near future. I'm not going to say a exact time because I really don't know. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants right now. But anyways, thank you guys for those of you who have stuck around. Thank you to those who follow me on Facebook and support me over there as well. I really appreciate you guys. And um, if you're new here, I know I've, I've gotten quite a few new subscribers since I haven't even been posting. So that's cool. But um, yeah, say hello in the comments, introduce yourselves, and I hope you stick around, and I'll see you guys sometime in the near future.